Previously on Paul Raimondo Vlogs. Waking up in the morning, I can't remember yesterday. Hey, you Zach and I uh, may have overestimated the availability of petrol stations on this drive back up to Orphan. And we are now literally, literally running on empty. Have a, have a look at that. See that? Yep. Honey. Honey. Oh, honey, honey, honey. But like real talk though, I just don't know what we're gonna do. Just casually, casually my pants. But like, what do we even do? Who do we call? Ghostbusters? I literally don't know. Yeah, look, that's the last person to run out of here. Yeah, look, that's gonna be us. Awesome. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. All right, well, stay tuned. Stay tuned. 20 minutes later. The good news, always, always good news first. We're not in the middle of nowhere. Rude. The bad news is that we've run out of petrol. What do you reckon we do, Zach? Uh, I, I literally don't know. There's like a farm here, so maybe we can go ask them. Yeah, I think that's, that's the strat. We're gonna be fine, we're gonna be fine. It's probably just gonna take a bit longer to get to Auckland than what we originally planned, you know? All right, huh. I'll see you guys in a bit. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Oh, we're back in the road. We had a successful, successful push of the car and we made it to a service station. Nah, it's not true, it's not true. We literally made it to the service station with like a few mins worth of petrol left in the tank. We got some subway, smashed the subway, and now a Zaki boy and I are making our way to Auckland about three hours out. Yeah? Very, very happy, feeling way better because we've eaten something and we're not like freaking out because there, there was a hot minute there that Zach and I were legit like really concerned for the possibility of us actually breaking down and not being able to like fix it. So, whew, whew, ha. Right, see you soon. Alrighty, so we made it. We've made it safe and sound, up to you Zach dear boy. And we are currently in Auckland and checking into the Sky City Grand Hotel. So, a bit fancy, a bit fancy. You need to stop doing that. <laughs> Stop what? What do you want me to stop? <laughs> Bro, honestly. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much. Easy. Thank you. Bye. Oh, honey. Honey. Bit of a mini car. What would you like? Uh, oh, one of New Zealand's finest. The last night. Cheers, Mark. I can't believe he's put up with me for this long. You'd have to pay me next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this snack bar. This is amazing. So I think now we're gonna get all get all naky, naky, have a shower, and maybe go hit the tables. Maybe go, maybe do a bit of gambling. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Play a bit of bit of pokey pokes, a bit of blacky jack jacks. Anyway, that's all I got. I'll see you soon. Pow! All right, final day. We just woke up. Let's hope we can get breakfast. Alrighty, so we're gonna some breakfast with some fruity boys, and then we got some eggy boys coming. Zach, overall, it's the last day. What's your what are your vibes? What's your thoughts of the trip? It's been a good trip. It's very successful. I'm ready to I'm ready to get back to Perth and get back into doing some work. There's so much hustle in my day. Yeah, back hit that grind, hit that hustle, hit 2019 with some ferocious velocity. Let's just uh, let's do a quick flashback to Bay Dreams. And we're back. Yeah, Bay Dreams, Bay Dreams was sicko. Yeah, I really enjoyed Bay Dreams. Yeah, I had the best trip and I'm really excited. We fly back to Perth this afternoon. I'm really excited to hit 2019. It's gonna be so good. Look forward to more content, hopefully a lot more lifestyle vlogs like this. Two hours later. So one of the best things about traveling for like vacation and not for business is that I actually really get to enjoy the amenities of the airports that I'm in. So I'm currently at Auckland International Airport on the flight home and here with my main man, Nick, doing some whiskey tastings. <laughs> Nick is just a legend. I'm learning so much about whiskey. So good. So far, so far we've tasted and I'm like a single malt PT whiskey, Lafroig, Lagavulin type of guy. So what I've learned, I actually learned this, and I was telling Nick this, this just then. When you're trying whiskey, you've got to smell the whiskey, but with your mouth. Oh, this I can already <laughs> smell. This one's good. This one's good, honey. <laughs> you got to smell it with the mouth open, right? All right. I like that one. Mm. Have you got any other ones that you recommend? And uh, we're on to the final one. The final one. The final one, the final one, the final one. Next all. No, no, I'll Can't take me anywhere, boys. I'm not even drunk, I'm just clumsy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nick. No all right, here we go. The final one. I don't want to even finish it, actually. It's fine. Otherwise, I'm going to be like pissed when I get on the flight. Otherwise, I'm going to be like pissed when I get on the flight. All right, I'm also not going to finish that because I want to get too drunk. Sure. Don't want to get too drunk. Sure. Don't want to get too drunk. Sure. Don't want to get too drunk. Sure. I would love to go bowl of this one, please. All right. Singleton. Look, I'm not going to lie. I've definitely had at least four or five standard drinks in the past 15 minutes. Four or five standard drinks. Also, shout out to Ryan Wood. Okay. 
wish you were here, my dude. I just, I just miss you so much. But honey, I'm coming home. I'm coming home for you, and I will see you in like less than 24 hours. Oh, Nick's just bought me a present. Look at that. Oh, honey. honey. Thank you so much, Nick. Thanks. That's awesome. Thank you. How much is that one? 236. Perfect. 236. Okay. Which one's more expensive between these two? Ah. Uh... When you're trying to ball, but you're on a budget, don't want to get too drunk. Sure. Let's do this one, please. Yeah, hundred percent. Thank you. Anything oh, else? My dude, that is it. So am I going to be able to get into Australia with all that? Yes. Fantastic, fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're done. Whiskey tasting. Yeah. Fantastic, Nick. Appreciate your help. Thank you so Thank much. You. And it was a little bit buzz. So. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. Okay, so I've just met Neil. This is Neil. Neil, welcome to the vlog. So I gave Neil my my business card because you always got a plug, and Neil was like, "Where can I find you on YouTube?" And so was Nick. So I was like, "Well, here's my business card." Now here's the thing. I'm a little bit intoxicated, so like I can't do the thing that I usually do at conferences. But it's all about having a pattern interrupt, right? So I've got I've got my cool cards, right? It's a bit different to normal cards. Do you know what I mean? So when I give a business card to someone, and keep in mind I'm a little bit intoxicated, Neil and I just can pretend that we just met. Hey, Neil hey. Pompom, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Neil. It sounded, sounded so sincere, didn't it? You're gonna, you're gonna ask, ask me for my card? Can I have a business card? Oh, absolutely. Okay. So I like whip it out of my pocket. So pattern interrupt, right? Because you want it, like, like in a Facebook feed, like an Instagram feed, you want to interrupt the general nature of what's happening in the feed to get people's attention. So usually I get my business card out and it's already a little bit different, right? And then I'll do something because I used to do magic because I was a massive nerd when I was a kid. Usually when I'm sober, we'll see if I can land it. So I get the business card out and then I'll do like a little thing and then I'll catch it. And usually I try to like catch it with that and I catch it and I give it to the person. So you get out of your pocket and you fling it up and then you like deliver it to them. So then you've made not only an impression and you've remembered their name because this is Neil and this is Nick. You've also given them your card, which is also a little bit different in a presentation that makes an impression that makes you more memorable. Because when you go to conferences and when you meet people and when you're networking, everyone's like, it's just it's just currency. Oh, here's your business card. Here's my business card. Like, eh. no one remembers, but you got to be memorable. And that's today's lesson. So Neil, Neil just asked me like why, why I wear glasses when I vlog. So I learned this from Casey Neistat. So if I'm trying to frame myself right now, I'm directly looking at you through the camera, but my eyes, my eyes are actually over here, yep. framing myself over here. So if I'm talking to you like this, it's not engaging and it looks weird. But if I put my shades back on, then I'm I'm still looking over here, but it looks like that I'm looking through the camera through the lens. Yep. So yep. it keeps it more engaging. Casey Neistat stuff. Yep. And I don't want to do a do a Casey, but then it's also like I want to create content which is meaningful that is also like beautiful in its composure and its structure, and that's why I do it. Hey, anyway, I'm gonna buy it, buy it, I'm gonna buy it. me this one. And I'm pretty really excited for this one. And so is Ryan's gonna be very excited as well. <laughs> and uh, away we a ghost. No worries. Nice Neil, see you. Me. Take nice care. All right. I'm gonna go pay for this and catch my flight back to Sydney and then to Perth. And you know what? I'm gonna close the vlog off here. That there concludes this episode of the vlog. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn the bell notifications on so you get notified when I drop new videos. Apart from that, let's uh, cue the explosion and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.